ministers are preparing for a high-profile legal battle with the inquiry into the COVID-19 pandemic uh, as the government seeks to challenge the inquiry's demands for Boris Johnson's redacted WhatsApp messages and notebooks. Nithya Rajan is in Westminster for us. Nithya, good morning. It, uh, this is really an unprecedented move by the government, isn't it? Sean, unprecedented certainly is the right word. Uh, Baroness Hallett, the chair of the COVID inquiry, had asked the Cabinet Office to hand over all the unredacted uh, WhatsApp messages, notes, documents that were circulated uh, between Boris Johnson and his ministers during the pandemic. The Cabinet Office refused, stating that uh, the inquiry was demanding unambiguously irrelevant information that could compromise the private lives of ministers. Now, what will, this will essentially mean is both sides will have to fight their corner in court. Those representing Baroness Hallett will, uh, could essentially argue that it's up to her to decide uh, what is relevant and what isn't to the COVID inquiry. Those uh, representing the Cabinet Office uh, could argue that if everything is handed over, it would set a precedent, uh, could compromise the uh, private lives of ministers as well as uh, prevent them from discussing uh, policy matters in future. Now, last night, the Science Minister, George Freeman, said that even if the government lost, it was worthwhile for all of this to play out in court because it essentially tests how far the powers of the inquiry goes in terms of retracting, retracting that information. Uh, at the heart of all of this, of course, are the bereaved families. Uh, they feel that they've been sidelined and have accused the government of sitting on evidence. They make us feel that our loved ones are definitely not front and centre, but somewhere as a footnote, we need to see that content. How could you know? How can you do your job with one arm tied behind your back? Doesn't it just make you want to know even more what's in there that they don't want us to see? And last night it emerged that uh, Boris Johnson had, uh, hadn't handed over all of the messages that he used on a phone up until April 2021. It was around that time that he got a new phone due to a security breach. And his spokesman has said that his old fo phone, the one that he used until April 2021, uh, hadn't been turned on since. Uh, according to the spokesman, uh, Mr Johnson has written to the Cabinet Office asking for help with security and technical expertise to get that information off his old phone without compromising security.